The team took part in three sports during this trip to Austria. Snowshoeing, floorball and alpine skiing. None of the athletes had any experience in these sports and the training regime ahead of the event was a difficult one, with some coaching excursions to Sierra Nevada and the use of local beaches to practice on sand instead of snow. As they used to say at, at some point that everybody get medals, I think that video demonstrated the hard work, you saw the snowshoers, not an easy spot to you know, manoeuvre in. And the, the effort put in are skiers. I think that was tremendous to show, how, you know, just how much. Um, and it reflected the, the hard work that they all do. But the real message this video aims to bring to the community is the sense of family and community fostered among the athletes, their parents, carers and coaches. The team event creates bonds not only among the Gibraltar delegation, but on a global scale. Last night was so emotional. The film really um, encapsulated what Special Olympics is about. For the duration of the film, you couldn't hear a pin drop. The cinema was full and everybody was completely focused on, on what we were watching. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, something that, you, that I see every time we go to games, to, but to actually make such a, a, a short, short video and capture the essence of what you know, Special Olympic Games are for our athletes. It was, uh, it was, you know, I thought, he, he, you know, it's just right. It, it was wonderful. At the launch, Equality Minister Samantha Sacramento said participation in Special Olympic events was about achievement, friendship, developments, and having a sense of belonging. I have really become completely immersed with the Special Olympics movement, and traveling with them abroad gives you that sort of wider sense of what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Not only do I have the privilege of being with them and participating in events with them, and they are fantastic ambassadors for Gibraltar, but they, I also, while I'm there, I have the opportunity to attend the Global Forum. There are specific meetings for ministers. There are workshops. So there's a lot of things going on alongside for, for delegates with a view to developing the Special Olympics program. The event was also an opportunity to thank all the volunteers, sponsors and coaches for continuing to make Special Olympics a reality in Gibraltar.